Right, so it's the three times champions against the three times champions. That's uh, the final. There's an air of inevitability to it. Mumbai Indians against the Chennai Super Kings. I've got uh, Anil Kumble here in studio with me. Thank you so much, Anil, to uh, set this game up. It is in many ways the inevitable final and the dream final. There will be no pressure or at least there will be no feeling the pressure for these two teams. It's familiar territory. Yeah, it is familiar territory. I think the two best teams of this IPL have reached the final. Uh, you know, they have had some good matchups, but I think Mumbai Indians in this season, uh, they have beaten Chennai at all the three times. So, this will be the fourth time that if they have to go on and win the cup, they will have to beat Chennai the fourth time in a neutral venue. So, that is going to be the challenge, but it is going to be a cracker of a game. I mean, both teams, like you said, uh, do not have the nerves of playing in a final. It is more or less similar players who have played in all those three finals. So, yeah, it will be, I am sure, interesting to see how uh, they go off. Two ways to look at it uh, from uh, the point of view of uh, Mumbai, they have not just beaten Chennai, they have beaten them handily in all of these three games. If you are a Chennai supporter, you are saying, right, the law of averages should catch up sometime. Which way are you tilting? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if you are a Chennai supporter, you hope that law of average did not catch up last season because yes. they had beaten Hyderabad three times in a row and they won again fourth time in a row. So, I am sure if you are a uh, Chennai supporter, you are hoping that Mumbai will have a bad game in the final, uh, but you know I think Mumbai certainly has the ability to uh, uh, do well in a final. All right, let us talk about uh, the conditions in particular. Now, Hyderabad has been a bit strange at this tournament. Sometimes we have seen 200 plus scores in Hyderabad, in particular when Warner was going there, Besto, these guys made a lot of runs at that venue, but then also we have seen low scoring games here. Um, what is your sense? What sort of conditions can we expect in a, in a final of this kind? I think the conditions will be good, uh, better than uh, what we saw in the uh, other three uh, uh, you know, uh, matches yeah. uh, in the playoffs. I am sure it will be a better pitch than a Vizag, it will be a better pitch than Chennai. It should, it should still assist the spinners because we are at the fag end of the domestic season, so you cannot expect the wicket to be really a flat deck. Yeah. It will have some, uh, you know, variables. Fast bowlers have done well in uh, uh, Hyderabad, uh, so I, I think you know it'll be a good deck. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll be a good deck. It should be around the 160, 170 yeah. mark, not necessarily a 130-ish pitch that we have seen in the playoffs. Uh, Anil, let's talk about matchups a little bit. One of the key factors in Chennai's success is their spinners. The combination of uh, Tahir with along uh, with Jadeja and Harbhajan Singh all working well together. Is that the sort of attack that a Mumbai lineup can take down if they get very flat conditions and are a because of the quality that they have right throughout that batting lineup? I mean, if you look at the Hyderabad uh, surface, you know, especially in the middle overs, that's where the spinners will be operating. Yes. Uh, it's mostly the faster bowlers who have done well in the middle overs and not necessarily the spinners. Of course, in the last couple of matches uh, in Hyderabad, it's assisted the spinners slightly more than the faster bowlers. But then you take the overall record in this IPL, uh, it's the faster bowlers who have done well. And Mumbai Indians faster bowlers have done better in those middle overs than the Chennai faster bowlers because yeah. Chennai invariably depend on their spinners to operate in those middle overs other than a uh, bravo coming in. Uh, continuity is a big theme with Chennai. Tend to play as much as possible the same sort of 11, uh, pick from our 13, 14 players. Is that something that will worry Mumbai that in the last game we saw the likes of Faf Du Plessis showing some really good form. Shane Watson, who Chennai have persisted with despite his form being wretched, showing some form. That sort of thing is an alarm bell for Mumbai. Oh yes, I mean, you know, both teams have match winners. Chennai have massive match winners in their squad. Yeah. Uh, if you look at their team, Watson, we know that in the previous edition, he came good in the final. Yes. He is in form. He got a 50 in the last game. Faf Duplissi has got a 50, so he is in good form. Suresh Raina has not really fired. It is not the old Suresh Raina of CSK. Yeah. He could fire in the final. Raidu still has not fired. He could fire in the final. Then, of course, MS Dhoni, you know, the ever uh, dependent MS Dhoni is there. So, you know that you hope that he does not fire in the final, he never fails. So, there are match winners in CSK. So, Mumbai will be hoping that their form of beating Chennai and putting the brakes on the openers in the first six and then later on in the middle order yeah. and putting the entire pressure back on their captain, uh, they will be hoping that a similar thing will happen. 
One other thought that I wanted to get out of you, Anil. Both of these guys are tactically considered to be the best captains in T20 cricket at the moment, and their record shows it as uh, as well. So, from that point of view, do they cancel each other out, or do you see that in a final situation, one um, will probably have an edge over the other, Rohit and Dhoni? No, I think, like you said, both captains are are the best captains in this Vivo IPL. We have seen that, uh, you know, throughout the tournament. Uh, Kane Williamson, for example was perfect till the 17, 17 overs and then we all thought that in the 18th over why is he bringing Basil Thumpy here, yes. you have Khalil, uh, you know you want to do that. So he lost out. So it's, it's it takes just one over or probably that one uh, change which upsets the whole momentum and similarly Shreyas uh, in in, uh, in the game against uh, Chennai, yes. you know he missed out, Kima Paul came in you know, got 25 runs in that over and then suddenly changed the course of the game. But you won't see that with an MS Dhoni or a Rohit Sharma. I think both of them in this IPL have have probably done the right things throughout the 20 overs when you are defending a target or when you are bowling first. Alright, so uh, we've got a fascinating contest coming up. The final thing we've got to do is put Anil Kumble on the spot like we always like to. Alright, so give us a percentage. <laughs> we'll not ask you to call a winner. Give us a percentage who you're leaning towards. I think I'll still lean towards Mumbai 60 and 40. Chennai, of course, in a final are a difficult uh, uh, bunch. Uh, although Mumbai has had three victories against Chennai in a final, it will be a tougher battle, it is a neutral venue, but still I think Mumbai have an all round uh, you know, team, they have a better bowling attack probably suited to uh, the conditions in Hyderabad.